I'm Mark Purser, and welcome to Weber State Sports, live from our brand new studio in the Stewart Library. In women's soccer, the Oregon State Beavers came to town to take on the Lady Cats on Friday. Let's check it out. The Beavers are currently ranked in the top 25 coming into the game, but the Wildcats would not be intimidated by that. They struck first in the seventh minute as Jesse Badley beat the Beaver goalie on the far side to take an early 1-0 lead. The Beavers would have multiple chances at goal before nodding the score with this lucky header by Milan Cabrera, which bounces over Wildcat keeper Ryan Waldman. The score would remain at one all heading into the half. In the second half, the game would remain tied until the 57th minute when Jenna Richardson put Oregon State in front, beating Waldman on the near side. However, Weber State wasn't down for long as Badley headed home her second goal of the game off a great free kick by Ari Wood. The game looked like it would end in a draw, but those pesky Beavers would score again off another header by Cabrera. Right in the back corner, the Cats would have at least one last chance at goal, but Tiana Woodhead's shot was swallowed up by the Oregon State goalie, sealing the victory for the Beavers 3-2. That was a really tough loss for the soccer team as they had a difficult non-conference schedule. But coming up this week, the, walk, the women's soccer team takes on Northern Colorado and Northern Arizona to start on league play where they are 0-0. A fresh start for them. On to the football field, the Weber State football team took on conference foe Eastern Washington on Saturday at Stewart Stadium. The Wildcats trying to get to 2-1 in conference play and 3-2 overall. Let's check it out. The Wildcats started off with some rhythm as quarterback Cameron Higgins finds Joe Collins for a nice 20-yard catch. But later in the drive, Higgins would throw one of his three picks on the day to Matt Johnson of the Eagles. Eastern Washington would turn the interception into a touchdown, going nine plays, 66 yards to Ashton Grant. The Eagles up early, 7-0. After punts by both teams, the Wildcat offense put together a decent drive with this with the help of this 26-yard catch from Joe Collins. The Wildcats would get a field goal, and then the Eastern Washington would score one more touchdown in the second quarter to make it 14-3 at half. In the second half, Jordan Brown takes an Eastern Washington punt 27 yards to set up a great opportunity for the Wildcats. And later in the drive, Higgins hooks up with Mike Phillips for a 25-yard gain. Later, Higgins finds Joe Collin open in the end zone for the touchdown, regaining some ground, making the score 10 to 14. The Wildcats are just getting started, and it wouldn't end here. Check out this great fee flicker by the Wildcats as Cameron Higgins finds a wide open Mike Phillips for the 65 yard touchdown. Now, the Wildcats have had that play planned before so let's see it again you're gonna see Bo Bowen takes the handoff then pitches back to quarterback Cameron Higgins who finds Mike Phillips wide open for the 65 yard touchdown BAM but those pesky Eagles would answer and answer and answer again thanks in part to two Wildcat interceptions in the end zone the score now 35 to 17 Eastern Washington just rolling away with it the Wildcats would add one last touchdown late in the fourth quarter to make the score look a little closer as Higgins finds Joel Hancock in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. Eastern, final, your final score for the game, Eastern Washington 35, Weber State 24. The Wildcats are off this week, but will be in action again in Pocatello against the Bengals on October 11th. So go Weber State. I'm Mark Purser, Weber State Sports.